Hey everyone, today I'm going to be working through the first problem on the introductory problems section on CSES. It's called Weird Algorithm. Let's look through it. So first it says, consider an algorithm that takes as an input a positive integer n, if even the algorithm divides it by 2, and if n is odd, the algorithm multiplies it by 3 and adds 1. The algorithm repeats thus until n is 1. So for example, the sequence for n equals 3 is as follows. Your task is to simulate the execution of an algorithm for a given value of n. So seeing as we're supposed to output every single value, and that the upper limit's only 10 to the 6th, the easiest way to do it is just going to be to go through it normally. So what we're going to do is, let's begin. It's pretty straight up, so I'm not going to write any pseudocode on it. So let's just write, let's just create a new uh, directory and call it one weird algorithm. Uh, let's just get this. And then let's create a new uh, US code template and call it main. Okay, so what we see here is the template that you can download in the description that I'm going to be using for the rest of this series. So since we don't have large inputs, it's just one digit, uh, actually could be pretty large, but we're not going to be worrying about the input and output. So we're just going to delete all that. Now let's just work here. So in this template, so what we're going to do is we have a value of n. Notice I used n or a long, long value time for n because it's 10 to the sixth. And in CSES, you really shouldn't take any risks with calling it an int because of integer overflow. So we're going to just uh, grab n. And then now, so while n does not equal 1, we're just going to um, if n mod 2 is equal to 1 or not 0, then what we do is we multiply it by 3 and add 1 and otherwise we uh, divide it by 2. Now this is an integer division symbol just so you guys know in C++ and then uh, the last thing we want to do is print n and actually if we do this uh, what will happen is that the first value of n is not actually going to be printed as you can see here the first value of n is indeed printed, but if we do this, n is going to change before we print the first value. So what we have to do is up here, right away when we grab n, we're just going to print it out again. And because this is um, CSES and not uh, Usico, we don't need to worry about new lines or anything. So we just save it, and then we um, print in C++, so let's just plus plus, oops, just plan, and then we have it, so then let's just put in 3, and we get all the values, and seeing as we don't have any ints or anything that we need to worry about, what we'll do is we'll just put it and sub click submit, grab main.cpp, and let's put it in, see if it works. All right, it was accepted all in 0.1 seconds too. So that's going to be it for this episode. Uh, keep watching on the playlist. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe. Comment if you have any nicer solutions. I may make a video if you have a nicer solution. So thanks for watching. See you all later.